channel. I hope you guys are absolutely amazing at home. You're staying safe. You're taking care of yourself. You're learning new things. You're staying fit. Everything. Now, knowingly or unknowingly, if any one of you or your family members has been infected by the coronavirus, by the coronavirus, you have my heartfelt sympathy. And also, I read a good quote the other day, which said, "Tough times don't last, but tough people do." Just stay tough, stay positive. Good times will come soon. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I started posting this informative content on Instagram. I I made a I made informative posts like how to maintain your bikes in lockdown, how to get more control on your bikes in rainy season. If your bike stalls when you are riding through waterlogged areas, what you should do. So I was giving solutions to various problems which are faced by motorists in rainy season and in day-to-day -day lives. Now, on one of these posts, my friend Sahil commented and said, "Make a video and make a informative post about how to tighten your brakes, how to adjust your brakes at home." So this video will be for just that. I will tell you how you can tighten your brakes by yourselves at home. So, let's see the tools that we will need. So you will need uh, 10 mm T pana or 10 mm ring pana. Why I'm saying pana? Okay, so you will need either 10 mm T spanner, which is this one, or you can use a 10 mm ring spanner, which which will which will be like this, but 10 mm size. Or you can use a 10 mm flat spanner or a 10 mm putty spanner. People call it. Hey, where is my 10 mm putty spanner? Okay, so over here. See, this is why it's confusing. Okay, so 10 mm putty spanner will be something like this. And the last thing you will need is pliers. So 10 mm putty spanner and pliers. Let's go. First thing, protection. Let's go. Your brake system will be there will be a nut, 10 mm bolt over here. There will be a 10 mm nut over here to lock it, and there will be a rubber inside that will be the spring. So when you press the brake. Like the spring contract. So what you have to do is you have to push this rubber down. Okay. So now that is the spring. When you will press the brakes, the spring will compress and your brakes will be applied. Look at this brake. It's very loose. Now like rotating the wheels, pressing the brake. Nothing happening. Rotating the wheels, pressing the brake. Nothing happening. Check your bike. These two parts will be locked inside, like tightly. So use a 10 mm spanner and you loosen up this bolt. After that, you adjust this bolt position behind. No, sorry, adjust this nut position behind. So the position of this nut will determine that when you press your brakes, at which point will the brake pads actually come in contact with the ground. So this this not determines when you get that proper grip and when when the brake engages in your scooter. So just push this nut behind. Then to set your brakes before the spring, there is a small bolt. You hold this bolt with the help of a plier and you tighten this nut over here. Just keep tightening it and like see where, at what point you want it. Don't let the spring rotate because if the spring rotates because of the torsional stresses, the spring might break and it will cost you a lot. Like you will have to keep adjusting. Now the brake is tight, but there is too much of resistance on my wheels. 
knot has been over tightened. So now I will have to loosen it up. So like it's more of a adjustment kind of thing. You have to continuously adjust it. Found where the bite point was. Now, now it breaks. You can see. Rotating the wheels, pressing the brakes, it breaks. Rotating the wheels, pressing the brakes, it breaks. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope I was able to convey my solution of how to do the setting of brakes in scooters and in motorcycles. If you like this video give us a thumbs up subscribe to smoothies garage comment below what you want to see next because the more you support us the higher risk we will be able to take the more better content we will be able to make we will be able to make new projects do new, new stuff just for you guys so show us your support subscribe give us a thumbs up comment below i'll see you guys in the next video stay safe stay fit stay active and stay tuned to smoothies garage